Anyway, lads, week four of Check the Grounding. Uh, we're still having a horrendous run. I think uh, Staffy was the winner. Was it two out of five this last week? Three, thank you. Yeah, three. So we're getting better. Nisbo still down to one out of five, and I think I joined uh, two out of five. So I was just right there in the middle, nice and cushy. But let's look at this week's fixtures, starting with you, Nisbo. I'll have you know, I improved from none to one. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm now looking at five. So, okay, let's go. Righto. Chiefs Highlanders, uh, Friday night. Chiefs 12 and under for me. Home game, home uh, ground advantage, that's good enough for me. 12 and under the Chiefs. Rebels, Hurricanes, I don't think this will be that easy for the Hurricanes, but I'm going to go for them. Again, 12 and under. And uh, the Blues, I'm actually picking the Blues will come out of the blocks running. No Sonny yeah. Bill, but I'm actually going 13 plus against Woo. the Sharks. That's unbelievable. Yes, I know, <laughs> but I am. Um, Brumbies, Waratahs. Brumbies aren't very good, I don't think. Waratahs, I didn't think they were very good until they played the Rebels. So I'm going to go uh, Waratahs away from home in Canberra, 12 and under. And in the last game, the Lions and uh, the Crusaders. Funny bit here, I'm going to go half-time, full-time Crusaders. Nice, like that. Half-time and full-time. That's a real sprinkling. Well, I can officially announce that um, if Nisbo gets five, I can't. Because I'm going against them in one of those. Perfect. Um, but I'm taking I'm taking all head to heads. Yep. I'm taking the Highlanders to beat the Chiefs. I just think uh, the travel might just hinder the Chiefs a little bit, and their continued injury concerns. And I think the Highlanders have been great the first month. Uh, I will take the Hurricanes head to head against the Rebels. I am wary of the Rebels, though, as Nisbo alluded to. I think they're a very good side, uh, but not good enough to beat the Hurricanes. I'll take them head to head. Uh, I'm taking the Brumbies as underdogs to beat the Waratahs. Uh, this is their local derby. This is their Crusaders, Highlanders yeah. sort of game. Um, and I think just in an absolute classic battle of attrition yeah. that the Brumbies might just edge it at home. Uh, I'm taking Melbourne to beat Cronulla in the NRL. And I am also in the NRL, I'm loving Parramatta just being caked every week. So... <laughs> Benji Marshall and co. just do it again. They're underdogs as well. West Tigers to beat Parramatta. That's my five leg. Yeah, he's looking for the five legs. That's nice, Staffy, actually. Might give that one to you. But yeah, Chiefs, Landers, I'm going the Landers. I'm with you, Staff. I think that the Landers have looked good this last month. I'm taking them 12 and under. Crusaders versus the Lions, they're going to be doing it again over there. Like the final last year, I've got them 13 plus. Ooh. Now the Warriors and the, uh, the Roosters, this is the, the big game for the Warriors. Um, but I'd hate to be crucified in public um, if I didn't back the Warriors and they did come through. So at three dollars, I think head they to are. Head, uh, There's no stopping this Warriors train, and I'm on that bandwagon or the band carriage, so to speak. So the Warriors are head to head, and uh, St George and Newcastle Knights sticking with the NRL. I'm taking St George 13 and over. What's that? We got one more game. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, you're right. Do one more game. So I'll go um, the Hurricanes versus the Rebels. I'll keep it simple, head-to-head. Hurricanes. Perfect. There you have it. Check the grounding.